everybody, it's Jack and Dan, and I'm off school today. <laughs> so you kind of had a uh, teacher's meeting day, you got off school, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, thanks. And so we noticed, we were kind of checking out your tank, it's pretty early in the morning, and we noticed these little awesome characters right here, baby, baby, little bristle nose plecos. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? I thought you... they were like, I don't even know what they were. I thought they were like little pebbles or rocks. Right. And you can see next to those striated loaches just how small they are. So, the bristlenose plecos, usually the male will pick a cave. And apparently he commandeered... The bottom little... of the ship. <laughs> he had a little mutiny and he took away the striated loaches uh, ship from them. It looks like he busted And there are like two that. females... So when we were at Ohio Fish Rescue about, well, probably eight or nine months ago, our first visit there, uh, he gave us a whole bunch of little babies just like this guy, little tiny babies. Um, they were reproducing in a tank of his, and he was like, well, the last thing I want at a fish rescue is fish reproducing. So he kind of separated them, gave you a bunch of the babies. We put them in here in your tanks, and they did pretty well, and some of them grew up. And this male, you can see his bristles there kind of hanging down from his nose. He took over the ship. There are two females. They're there's, about the size of him. And there's so, a lot of roots, if you notice, on the bamboo. Yeah, they're growing a ton of roots, too. Look at that. They almost get caught. We're going to be, yeah, we're going to be moving those things around when we do your renovating here and add another tank. But, um, basically, what happened is, is he went in there, the females laid some eggs, and less than a year old, your baby plecos are having babies already. Isn't that something? Yeah, it's interesting. So, we've been seeing these little guys all over the tank. They're actually about a week or two old already. Well, we noticed them about a week ago. We just didn't have a chance to... I think frogs do that, too. When they're, like, two years old, they have, like, 4,000 eggs. I think even I think even younger, yeah. yeah. Lots of these kind of animals can reproduce. But anyway, it looks really, 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 really neat. They're so cute. I'm kind of zooming in. Try not to get too much reflection, but it's in the morning here. They're so cute. It's hard to believe that they that they had babies already. So... Anyway, we've got a male and two females at least that are pretty full grown already at only a year old and you've got babies and they're kind of all over the the uh, gravel but it's kind of hard to see them because we've got black specks and green specks and they're kind of just worked in everywhere and of course they're coming in and out of the ship where their dad is and all over the boat there but we just wanted to share pretty exciting pretty exciting that you had babies already uh, really, really, really cool. And the striated loaches are just kind of staying out of the way. Um, the powder blue grammies are just doing awesome. That sunlight comes in here, hits it in the morning. They look fantastic. The bridge is doing great. And uh, the turtles are just waking up. Just waking up. And we're thinking we might get some more turtles. I'm thinking about putting more babies in here because these guys really aren't growing that fast. I didn't map turtles. Yeah, maybe we could get some different kinds, but um, in these kind of these kind of turtles don't really need a place to bask, so it might be cool to get soft shell turtles. Maybe we can get a different kind of soft shell turtle. Because these are Florida ones. Right. So inevitably, and a lot of them are still under the sand. They're still sleeping. They but get pretty big, though. They do. They do, especially when the females, like most are, turtles. When their babies are like this. Yeah. Like... Well, we might get some more because we're going to be adding that third tank. And we're going to be doing an extra special, awesome kind of bridge. Yeah, isn't there a female one at the car wash? That is a red eared slider, red -eared yeah. Slider, yeah. But no, check them no. out. But now, it's still early in the morning, but later in the day when the sun comes in, you can see a whole bunch of them kind of coming in and out of here and hanging out. And hopefully, they'll continue to reproduce. I have two males, I believe, in the big tank. So I might take one of the females. And I may put them in the big tank so that we can have some babies in there as well. There's all that lava rock that they can hide in. But anyway, we just want to do an update. Jack had a day off, and he was checking out his tank, and he said, Dad, I think, I got some, I think my babies had babies already, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. So we'll see. Hopefully some of them will grow and stuff, and we'll I mean, put some in the big. they're not even this small. They're like, can't even see them. They're like little pebbles. Very tiny. We'll have to Sand. let Big Rich know that the babies that he gave you... I mean, the, the, the parents, too, are pretty small. So. Yeah, they are. They're not They're not as big as the ones in the big tank, but apparently they were big enough to have babies. So there they are. There's one of those cute little buggers. Um, if you've never seen tiny little baby plecos, they are very cute. And there's not a lot of light in this tank right now because I have the tops off because we're working on it. Because um, we're getting ready to expand and I'm going to move some of the stuff around. 
Um, Andy Woods would say you're waffling on right now. He would say... <laughs> Jack's favorite fish tuber just about in the whole world, Andy Woods, right? He would say we're waffling on. So we will stop. We don't want to waffle on, as Andy says. Oh, there's one of the moms right he, there, he though. He has a bunch of flower horns. Yeah, he's got a lot of everything. There's one of the moms right there, hanging out down in the basement, as Jack calls it, down there in the under gravel lights. So, yes, he's Call right. Space. We're waffling on. So, what, what does everybody want to do as usual, Jack? Hit the bell for notifications and subscribe if you like this video. Right, yeah, we got all kinds of stuff on health, wellness, conservation, and of course, our wonderful stress-relieving fish tanks, and all the other hobbies and adventures we do. We will see you next time, guys.